This is one example. If you take a look at this, this traffic light says go. It's on green. So if you guys look here, coincidentally, there's a train behind us. It's going to go straight through those traffic lights because they're green. But if we change those traffic lights to red or just find a way to switch off those lights, will this cause chaos on the train tracks? That's what we're going to find out today, guys. Now those green lights have just been taken out. This is not going to end well. There's one light right there. All of the lights have been disabled. It also looks extremely dark down there. But here we go, guys. The tram is now going underground. What will the tram do? Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Nort. Today, we're going to do a secret. Okay, no, I'm joking, guys. What we're going to do is we're going to mess around with the train in GTA 5 because something you guys may know just briefly in the back of your head or something like that is that if you take a look alongside the train tracks, you can actually mess with the traffic lights on them. So if you guys were to follow these train tracks, you can actually see lights on the train tracks which change between red and green. Of course, red meaning stop, green meaning go. And the train does actually stop in certain locations and areas around the map where it needs to refuel, where it needs to stop because the red light is telling it to do so and it's just a set location where trains stop in GTA 5. It keeps the track flowing, it keeps things going but something I thought of and something which I think would be an interesting challenge to try out is to see what happens if we just change the traffic lights on the train track and see what the train does because if we change the light from green to red by just simply taking out the green, switching it off or something like that or even finding a way to change it over to red then will the train just stop on its tracks. I think this is going to be an interesting idea, especially if we change a red light to a green light, even by switching it off or simply by using my mods to switch everything off in the map and stuff like that. Even just changing the colors around, I can imagine this is going to have catastrophic effects on the entire train system. And I've been thinking to myself about what would happen in today's episode, and I can honestly imagine just trains colliding within each other and just stopping in random locations with a not meant to stop. So this is going to be a really interesting episode. I'm looking forward to getting into this and we're just going to dive straight into this guys but before we do so if you could be ever so kind enough to smash that thumbs up button that would of course be absolutely amazing guys. This is one example if you take a look at this this traffic light says go it's on green if you guys want to take a look at this in a better perspective all you need to do is simply change the time over to night time and you can see that these lights are green which basically signals the train to go so if you guys look here coincidentally there's a train behind us it's going to go straight through those traffic lights because they're green. But if we change those traffic lights to red or just find a way to switch off those lights, will this cause chaos on the train tracks? That's what we're going to find out today, guys. So we're going to start things off in certain locations. I want to see if I can find a red light first, guys, and see if we can do that. So I think the best way to do this is to simply do this at night time because that's the easiest way to see these lights. So I'm going to keep it on midnight. These ones are green again. Okay, so far, so good. Let's try and find a red light, though, guys. I've checked at least two dozen of these lights, guys. Look at this. We're at Polito Bay. And just taking a look at this. Oh, no. Oh, for a moment, I thought those were red lights. The only lights I've been able to find are green lights. So we might have to mess with the green lights and see if we can do anything with them. But judging from the exploring we've just done around the map, finding a red light looks like near to impossible. And I really hope a train doesn't come down here or else Mikey is screwed. Oh, no. A train. What? We're going to set up camp here guys I think this is a great place to start so if I just quickly park my car right here and we do have some green lights around here so the first thing we're going to try out is see what happens if we just try and take out these lights so I haven't actually tried this out yet but I wonder if this does work oh wait there's a train right there okay right I'm just gonna quickly move <laughs> just to move out the way and let this train pass first guys come on come on Come on. Okay, good. This train is just passing. We'll let it pass, guys. We're going to let it pass. At least we know that the train goes that way on this side. And I'm guessing this way on that side. So when we change this, that's going to affect the one coming here. And then when we change that, that's going to affect the one here. Okay, interesting, interesting, guys. What is going to happen? I've never tried doing this before in GTA, but let's try this out and see if this does anything. Because by doing this, we are just removing the green light. So I wonder if this will do anything, guys. Let's see. Oh, wait, what? Is that not... Okay, wait. Is it not breaking? It is not breaking! The green light is... What? Okay, wait, the green light doesn't break whatsoever. Oh man, I didn't know that. 
I've learned something new. Okay, so you can't break the green lights. But don't worry, guys. I was hoping this would work because then we wouldn't have to use mods. But there is actually a way to get rid of these using mods. But just to confirm, is there definitely no way of getting rid of these? Let's do this. Please don't take me out. Come on. Let's do this and see what happens. Three, two, one, go. Still nothing. Oh my days. I th Oh dear train. Okay, get out of the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> I thought that would work. But as you guys can see, the train is still going past with ease. And you can't just take out these lights whenever you guys choose to. Which means we're going to have to whack out the mods in today's episode, guys. Let me go in here, guys. I want to see if I can switch them in here. This is like the signal box. So by destroying this, we are destroying this entire signal. So everything around it is just going to be destroyed. You can even see the cameras outside on this box as well. So if we destroy this, then this is going to have an effect on the area. Three, two, one. We'll just take out the box. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go and take a look. What? What? It's still going. It is still going. How is that box still going? I'm so confused. There's a train outside like stopped literally just stopped somewhere at the light but i can't see a train i can't see a train anywhere we got this one coming past but we're definitely not looking at that train what's going on what is going on that is so weird okay so apparently a train has just stopped outside Okay, I'm gonna just leave that box. I'm not too sure what's going on guys. I'm gonna use the mods Okay, we're just gonna use the mods because I'm really confused So what this mod will enable me to do is essentially turn everything off in this entire map So by doing this we're going to turn off the green lights and this might cause chaos in GTA 5 Because the trains of course won't have a signal rockstar games won't be able to tell them where to go to So if we switch off the green lights, are they going to stop? Are they going to carry on going? Are trains going to collide? That's what we're gonna find out guys. So I'm gonna going to use my mods to go into miscellaneous options and then if we scroll down to which one do we do i'm going to do this one guys if we do this every single bit of electricity is switched off including those two green lights which as you guys can see we tried to take out but couldn't for some reason so now those green lights have just been taken out across the entire map it's not just with this one it's across the entire map i think the best course of action is to find a train anytime soon and just follow it to see if it goes any if it collides into any other trains or something like that. All right, guys, we're waiting here. Just me and Michael. Oh, there's a train. The train's coming right here. And it's got so many red tankers on the back. Okay, this is not going to end well. Will it stop? Is the train going to stop? Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, the train is carrying on. I don't think it's slowing down. It's not slowing down, guys. The train is not slowing down. Now is the time to test this out, guys. And what I'm going to do is follow this train and see if it collides with anything else in the map. Because imagine if two trains just collided. Like one of them stopped at a station and this one carried on going. Because it wasn't able to follow the signals Rockstar Games were giving it. So let's follow this train and see where it goes to. It's already sparking up. Is that just because it's on a corner or is it trying to break? I think a train does actually stop around there or something. Somewhere along this line, a train does stop. So we might collide with something over there, but I'm going to follow it until it goes into the city and see if anything happens. So let's do this now and see what happens, guys. So come on, come on. <laughs> oh, deer! Is it okay? Is the deer okay? What? It just, what? <laughs> it just ran onto the tracks. I hope the deer is okay. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, so the train isn't stopping here. I believe a train does stop here though, because there is a glitch you can do in GTA Online where you can actually get inside the train when it stops in that location. So I'm not too sure if these trains are meant to stop there in single player, but if they are, then this one didn't stop. So I'm not too sure if that's because the lights were off. I'm not too sure if that's the reason why, but either way, this is interesting and I want to see if this train will collide with another guy. So let's keep this going. This car is so screwed. Look at this car, guys. Oh, man. 
Oh, Bunny! No, I'm so sorry, Bunny. I'm so sorry. I think the car's still good, though. We're still good. We're still good, guys. But the, the train is almost in the city. Michael is doing his best job to uh, catch up this train. But look at this, guys. My car is basically gone. The train is now going into the city. It didn't stop in any of the locations I expected it to. And it looks like it's just carrying on going around the city. So I'm going to stop following the train right now because I know we're just going to be following it for a long time. And judging from what we just saw over there, yes, the signals might have kept the train going after that one location, but I don't think it's going to collide with any others because we didn't see any trains between then and now, guys. So if we follow it around the city, then I think there's a very likely chance we're just going to see the same thing as much as I want to see two trains colliding. But what we're going to do now, guys, because I know a few of you guys are going to comment in the comments section below. Why don't we do this to the tram? Why don't we test this out on the tram line? Well, guys, great idea. I'm feeling happy today, guys. I'm feeling good. And I think you guys deserve to know this. Also, because I want to know this as well, because I don't really know what's going to happen. But I think it's going to be awesome if we do get the outcome we're looking for. So let's try this out on the tram track. I'm not even sure if there are lights on the tram track. Surely there should be. But I guess we're going to find out now, guys. Let's see. I'm going to go underground quickly and see if we can see any lights. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where's the light? Where's the light? Nope. That's not a light. Oh, come on. I thought that was a light. We've arrived at the second station and I still haven't seen a single light. I guess we're going <gasps> to- Oh, hello. Hello, guys. Hello. There's one light right there. Can we destroy this one? Are we able to do that? No, we can't. Okay, so we can't destroy them, but at least we know there's lights there. Okay, good. There's lights in the tunnel, so I think we might be able to mess with this. There's another one right there as well. Two green lights right there. Back up, back up, back up. Nope, okay, so you can't destroy the lights, so we're still gonna have to do the same thing that we did before. We're just going to test this out. So there we go, electricity disabled. All of the lights have been disabled as well. It also looks extremely dark down there. I'm not too sure what's going to happen, and I don't even know if I'll be able to see this tram before it even comes down, but either way, if we stay here and just watch down there and wait for a tram to come to us, then that's all that we need to do. So come on, we just need to find a tram. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh! Guys, I just realized something! Look at this! Because electricity has been turned off, everyone is standing right outside of their car. I didn't even realize that. Let me take a look over here. Literally, everyone is standing outside. They don't know what's going on! What? That is so cool! The moment they come near me, because that's kind of our respawn area. That's what Rockstar Games have allocated to us so we can see the entire world around us. Everyone just gets out of their car. Look, there's chaos going on. Like, people are going over each other. This guy has no idea what's going on. This person's running away. And it's all because electricity has been disabled. This is crazy. I didn't realize that it had this much of an effect on everyone around you in GTA 5. Of course, you can see some people over here doing their normal stuff, but that's because they're nowhere near me. Once this guy, for example, once he becomes near me, He's now going to get out of his car. We have a tram. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is awesome, guys. I might do another video with that stuff and see what happens because we've literally disabled all of the traffic lights on the street and everyone is going crazy. So let's see what happens to the tram. Now the traffic lights have also been disabled. Please don't stop. Oh, come on. I've waited so long for you and you're going to wait another five minutes there. Come on. But as you guys can see, the traffic lights have been disabled on the streets and everyone is getting out of their cars. They're running away. They're acting really weird. They have no idea what's going on and it's just total chaos on the streets. So I might do another video on that a bit later on. If you guys have any ideas you would like me to test out based on the idea of taking out traffic lights on the streets, then let me know in the comments section below what you guys would like to see me do. But so far, I can imagine that would be an interesting episode. I mean, look at this, guys. There's just so many cars parked around me and everyone's just going crazy. But here we go, guys. The tram is now going underground. All of the lights have been switched off. So let's see what happens, guys. What will the tram do? Is there going to be a collision? I guess we're going to find out. Okay, so far, it's gone past the first light. I literally can't see anything. Oh, boy. I really hope a tram doesn't come for me. Come on. It's gone past the first light, though, guys. The first one. I think that was a spark. I'm going to go behind it, guys. We'll go behind the tram. If we stay behind it, that way we won't do anything to this tram. So... Let's stay behind. This is so creepy. I have no idea what's going on. 
Come on. It's gone past another set of lights. You can see some over there, guys. And there were also some lights at the start of this tunnel as well. Oh my days. I have no idea what's going on. This is so weird. Everything's so dark. I don't like this at all, guys. I don't like this at all. I think it's coming out to a station, though. I think so. Yes, it's coming up to a station, I think. Yeah, you can see it on my radar as well, guys. Will the tram stop at the station? Oh. Oh, there we go. It stopped. For a moment, I thought it was going to go straight past, but it stopped at the station. I'm going to ride the tram and see if that does anything. Let's get on. Let's get on the tram quickly. Uh, I want to go on the front. Don't go without me. Whatever you do, don't go without me. Okay, go, go, go. Let's ride the tram and see if anything happens into the darkness. Oh boy, this is not good. This is not good. So far, so good though, guys. What we're going to do is go over to the next station and see if that does anything. By the looks of things, I don't think it does anything significant to the trams and the trains, but this was definitely worth a go to see if it would do anything to the trams and the trains in GTA 5. So for those of you guys wondering what happens if you switch or change up the signals or traffic lights on the train tracks and the tram lines in GTA 5. This is exactly what happens, but this needed to be done because it's such an awesome question and I wanted to know the answer to this. The moment I started thinking about this idea, I was thinking to myself this idea needs to be tested and I'm so glad we tested it, but if you guys did enjoy today's episode, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. That would of course be absolutely amazing and I recommend you guys subscribe to the channel as well so you don't miss out on awesome stuff like this on a daily basis and let let me know in the comments section below anything else you would like to see me do on my channel. And you never know, guys, your idea might make it into another video. But guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Nort, and until next time, stay absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.